Hi everyone. Happy Tuesday. Happy, happy Crafty Tuesday. Um, we're going to do a couple of things today, kind of like a little catch up on what we've been doing the last couple of weeks. And I got out of schedule, had family come in, visit, and things were a little hectic and out of schedule for sure. And um, so now we're going to get back and I just thought maybe we would take today and catch up and I do have a new craft for you today um, it's a real cute little wine bottle craft but I wanted to show you the clock remember we took the record and we did a strainer pour hi Sherry we did a strainer pour well the first couple of ones didn't turn out very well. The colors all came together. So I redid one and this is it. Came out kind of cute. And then I did another one. This turned out really cute. So it's the neon pink and silver and white. That's what we've got. And I believe this is the one that I'm going to make the clock with. And when I get it assembled, I will take a picture of it and put it on Magic Mix. So here we go. This is almost finished. And I'm going to get a piece of white paper and put behind it so you'll be able to see it better. And I'm going to bring the camera down. I'm trying to do a little bit of different angle on the camera today. So this is what we have. This is a wine bottle. And I've used stained glass paint. There are different brands. I have three different brands, and I'll share that with you in a few minutes. This one is almost done. We're going to finish it up today. But I want to show you the first basic steps in order to get a, a good start. So what you're going to do, put this to the side for the time being, Take your wine bottle and you want to soak it in very hot water with some dish soap. Let it set for about an hour or so and your label will come off. After the label, you've cleaned the label. You'll need to take a paper towel and some alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And we're going to clean the bottle off really well. Make sure all the glue residue is off. Try to get our fingerprints off. Any dust. So here we go. It's just a simple wiping. I'll tell you what, this alcohol really makes glass shine too. Okay, we're going to let that set for a minute, let the alcohol evaporate. And there's a couple of simple ways of doing this. First, I want to share the paint. This is um, gallery glass. It is simulates stained glass. It is a um, plaid product. I like this a lot if you're working on a flat surface. It is kind of thin and working with the bottle you would have to do one side let it set for about an hour then turn it do the other side so you're not going to be able if you do something round you're not going to be able to do it all in one sitting it'll take a little bit of time then there is the product from folk art called multi-surface 
and multi-surface paints will adhere to non-porous subjects. This paint is not opaque or stained glass look that has that translucent look. It is more like a paint. And this is an example of it. I'm trying to get a little bit more light in here for you. But as you see, it's not translucent like the other one. It's fine. It turned out really cute. But if you want the stained glass look, go for the gallery glass. Or this product is Americana Crystal Gloss Enamels. And they also will adhere to non-porous subjects. There we go. So what I've got left to do, move this one out of the way for the time being, bring this one in, and we're going to put some fairy lights in the bottle after we get through with it so it'll light up. And you can get several different kinds. Um, to begin with, though, if you have any stencils, you can use stencils. I made these out of cardboard. They're just um, seashell looking. It's a seashell. We're going to call this one a starfish. And we got a little clam shell. There we go. We have a little clam shell. So once you've decided on your design, and you could get stencils for this, take a black, I prefer black, you could use any color you wanted to, permanent marker, and start putting your design. And with the bottle, the way that it's curved, you'll need to curve your stencil a little bit. But once you have it in place, just trace around it. And there you go. So once you have your design traced out, you're ready to paint. And don't worry about if the permanent marker gets out of line. You can take your alcohol and wipe it off. So if you make a mistake, just take it and wipe it off a little bit. There you go. And start over. So this is very forgiving. All right, well, let's get back to this one. It's almost finished. I put two different co two coats on um, each one of these. The first one was very, very pale, so I decided to do two coats. And all I have left to do is the purple, and we're going to paint the background an aqua color. These make little nice little night lights on your patio, or you could put it in anywhere in the home. And this will not rub off your permanent marker. So you can go right over it. And you're not going to get this absolutely smooth. It's just not going to happen. So you can blot it like this, give it a little bit of texture. Or you can go over it, smooth it out, 
as much as you can. So we have that one. And thank you, Sherry. They have some really pretty colors in this stuff. You can do, you could actually do your windows with this. Clean it real good. Draw you or stencil you a design on the window. Gallery glass was real big about 10, 15 years ago, and it's slowly making a comeback. So that's our second coat there. Oh, I didn't bring any water. Let's see. Here we go. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, got some big news coming up in September. I will be offering fluid, well, let me back up, acrylic fluid classes here at the Island Art Association. And we're going to start September 7th. It will be every Friday from 10 to 12. We're going to start with the basics, and this this way you will get hands-on, fun, free time. Um, so, if you're a Magic Mix member, get in touch with me if you would like to do this. And Magic Mix members will receive a 10% discount for the classes. All materials are going to be included. So all you need to do is just bring yourself and your smile. Wear a t-shirt that you don't want, that you don't mind getting a little bit of paint on if that happens. Um, and be ready to create and discover and learn. This is a beautiful color. I hope y'all can see that. It's a beautiful color. All right, what we're gonna do is just start, like I said, this stuff does not um, lay down flat. You will have some texturing. So you can play with it, dab it on, make it wavy. This is the ocean, you can make it wavy. And this will probably need two coats as well. But I'm gonna put on a coat real quick and insert the light so you'll be able to see it's really pretty. And I really appreciate the girls that have been saving the wine bottles for me. I know that took some time But as you can see, it's starting to take shape. And this paint will wash out with soap and water. And it's a little forgiving. Yeah, I can tell this is going to take a take a couple of coats, but it's usually dry to the touch in about thirty minutes. Also working on a website that everything will be together on that website. I hope to get it up by the end of the week. I'm real excited about that. Um, that's my goal anyway, to um, have it done by the end of the week. Here we go.
Hi, Betty. Thanks for joining. I was going to give you a call earlier and got sidetracked. Got those grandbabies back in school yet? So basically because this is not going to, it's not going to paint out smooth. So what I've elected to do is just to go ahead and give it a little bit of texture. And that will also be really pretty when the lights are inserted. Almost done with the first coat. I'm going to go ahead and put the lights in with just the first coat on. That way you'll get an idea of what it's like. But this little craft, it doesn't take very long. And you could do it in an afternoon easily, easily within one or two hours depending on the humidity and how long it takes for your paint to dry. I get a little impatient and about another 30 minutes, I'll, um, I'll start giving it a second coat. But there you go. We're going to put some paint up here. Almost done. Okay. I think that will do it. Let's see here. I'm going to try not to touch it. Mess it up. There we go. And put this out of the way. Okay, these little fairy lights have a wine cork at the end. It has a little on and off knob. You can also purchase these in solar power. So if you wanted to keep it outside on your front porch, back porch, patio, um, you wouldn't have to worry about, of course, replacing the battery. So I'm going to insert this and these uh my husband got these for me david he got them off of ebay they come in a box of 12 and i think they were like ten dollars for a box of 12 so it was very economical all right let's see this is going to be a little tricky with this wet paint It is getting in there about halfway and it'll coil around itself because it's coiled but you're putting it in the bottle so it's kind of like going backwards to the form that it is. And it's getting in there. And if it doesn't come out to your liking, you can take a skewer and poke it in there, settle it down to a design that you like, or any other long, thin object. OK, 
Okay, there we go. The lights are in there, so let's see what this looks like. There you go. I'm going to turn the lighting off here. And there you go. Cute little patio night light. And these batteries, they last for quite a long time. They're just little watch batteries. There you go. I'm going to give it about another 30 minutes or so and put a second coat of the blue on. And this will be ready to use. The um, paint I would let cure for at least two weeks. After that, you can wipe it down with a damp cloth. Um, I'd wait two weeks before putting it outside in case the humidity or it rains. Um, it, will, it's, it will feel dry, but it won't cure for at least two weeks. So I really appreciate y'all watching. Please share the video. And um, I've opened up, I looked at the um, controls on Facebook yesterday. It was just really giving me a fit. It was double posting things, and I tried to delete it, delete it, and it wouldn't let me delete it. So I went into the controls, and I opened up the posting. So any of y'all that would that try any of this stuff, the fight or the fluid art, any of the crafts, or you see a craft that you want to share what you're doing, please post it on Magic Mix, um, and we'll go from there. The um, jewelry, I kind of took a break from the jewelry. I'm going to start getting back into that again now that school has started, and um, everybody get into their little routine. Christmas is coming up. Holidays, it's August, and good grief, before you know it, Thanksgiving and Christmas will be here. But thank you, everybody. I'm going to bring the camera up so I can see you. There we go. And um, thanks for tuning in. Hugs to everybody, and bye for now.